I'm Curtis Palmer, River Seekers Guide Service, and today I'm going to show you a variation of different yarn balls and a new simple way without uh, using your fly tying kit and spending all that time at home. Years ago, about 25 years ago, this is probably what I used up in Canada. It's basically called the sockeye ball. Raggedy, great big long uh, pieces of yarn on there. Anyhow, we just use this with a bag full of fresh rope since we weren't allowed to use bait on the river. And we'd set it in the bag of rope, munch it up, get our scent on there and would cast it. Quite effective, but times have changed a lot. We have now, we have what we call glow bug. A lot of people are familiar with this. It takes time sitting down at home on the fly tying kit, unless you took a little travel kit with you on the river. We tie those up. Another variation, it's kind of made out of little pieces of sponge here. Holds scent a lot better than the yarn does. And you know, you don't see a lot of them on the river, but I have used them. Very, very effective. This yarn ball is what I'm going to show you how to tie today. Only takes a couple minutes, piece of cake to do. Start out with oh, four or five pieces of uh, nice yarn here. I prefer pink and white um, for steelhead fishing. Nice product I like using is Ghost Cocoon. It's a nice little thread that we can uh, tie around this. Put all of your yarn, kind of bunch it up there, in nice little lengths, colors that you prefer to use. Come pinch it, come right through the middle, nice and tight with the thread. Wrap around there a few times. I don't know how many times. I probably do it eight to ten times around, maybe a couple more. Break it off. Fold everything down from the center one direction. Nice pair of sharp scissors here. Cut the half circle. few more snips here. Now I prefer to use pinks and whites for steelhead. person can use any color they want. Some people throw in a little bit of green. Fish on different rivers do uh, like different colors so don't be scared to try your own combination. Fold them back the other way just trim a few other ends here. Kind of perfectionist. I like to have mine pretty nice neat and round. Okay, there's that. So now let's fluff this up a little bit. Create our little ball. Fluffs up pretty easy here. Now, like I said, I like mine to be about the size of a quarter, so I fluff it up. Now I just kind of flatten it out, get everything going one way. And pick up scissors one more time. This part ain't really necessary, but uh, just the way I like to do it. Darker, uh, colder water, I would sit there and say... Uh, Go ahead and uh, use maybe even you know, a little bit bigger of a yarn ball. Entice those fish to come up and bite it. Using yarn balls is becoming more and more popular. So I used 25 years ago in Canada and Montana and stuff, but I uh, find them in the Northwest a lot more. And uh, there's times that I've seen that a yarn ball actually works a lot better than bait while side drifting. So if you haven't tried it, it's a, always a new alternative. Especially when you're running low on bait. Okay, I got that about the size of a quarter. I'm going to fluff that back up there for you guys. Looks pretty good. I myself would fish that. Got a simple bait loop right here. And uh, so if you're going down the river and next thing you know, uh, you're running bait, side drifting, and it's not working very well, and you decide you want to go to yarn ball instead of having everything tied up on hooks with a fly tying kit, you can simply, you know, put one of these yarn balls like this. Come right through the yarn just a little bit, not dead center. Pull out your bait loop and just give a little halfway through the middle of it. Snug it up, put your scent on it, and you're free to fish and real quick. Nice thing is you can put all these yarns and everything, a little pair of scissors into a small container in case you run out of a color that happens to be working really well that day. Pull off the side of the river, tie yourself up that color pattern in just a matter of moments and you're back on the water fishing. These kits are easy to put together, various yarn colors, your ghost cocoon fit in there like that, your yarn balls go in, a couple of these, scissors fit on top, nice and easy like this, close up, easy storage, put in the boat. Anyhow, good luck to you and I hope you have a nice fishing season.